What's up? <laughs> uh, I'm starting to annoy myself. <laughs> you know what? I just got out of bed right now. It's like in the middle. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. I could, could go back to sleep. You know? uh, it's like two days after the, the con. You know, I was really tired. You know, the first day I was there all day long. Woo! And then the second day, you know, I went for myself. And there were so many people, you know. But man, it was just so great to see so many people and doing cosplay and enjoying the world of comics and movies. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh, I'm hungry. I want a big old taco right now. Car carne guisada. For my friends out there who don't know what that is, it's like chunks of beef, like in a stew, <laughs> on a flour tortilla. Oh, I want one right now. <laughs> anyway, welcome back. I'm back with another stack. <laughs> back with another stack. again you know thank you for coming with me and continuing this journey of self-discovery <laughs> yeah. pull up a chair let's hang out my friends let's hang out uh, I'm gonna show you some of the haul that I have that I got from the convention this past weekend <laughs> Oh, uh, you know, I love going to these because you, you never know what you're going to find. Always on the hunt. I don't know about you guys, but every time I'm out there, I always pretend that I have a, I'm hunting with a bow and arrow. <laughs> pretend that I'm Daryl from The Walking Dead. <laughs> man, how about, how about that show, man, this season? Oh, my God goodness i mean everybody kind of knew where it was going and yet at the same time didn't really know you know so when abraham bit it they go oh, i said oh man but i really didn't feel it but then when he went <laughs> when he went after glenn and then the whole scene just like from the book it was like wow it was brutal and then this last one the one with ezekiel wow it was just they went, like, on this 10th, like, level 11, right? And then they brought it down a notch, but it's still effective, very powerful. Very powerful stuff, man. Walking Dead. Whew. Awesome show, man. Wow. Anyway. <laughs> back to the hall. Uh, so, you know, you never know what you're going to find. And, uh, and I go there, you know, and I'm looking and stuff, and I'm marveling. <laughs> DC imaging. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm marveling at all the stuff that all these guys, all these people, these dealers, these vendors, they have, you know, all sorts of stuff, you know. But I'm going to talk about the books, you know. Oh, man, this guy had an amazing Spider Man 100 CGC for like 250 bucks. I said, damn. I go, I'll give you 50. <laughs> But anyway, anyway, you, you just never know what the mindset of these of these vendors are and what they're selling and how they're selling. <laughs> anyway, so this is what I got part on Friday and part on Saturday. Or part day one and part day two. I don't want to date it. <laughs> but anyway, but this one right here, this one I got, this one I got for eBay because I love the cover. Not into the grim fairy tales, but the covers that I've seen are just fantastic. Like I said, you know, I love the the one where the, the monster is bigger than the hero, you know. Then you see this, I think it's the Kraken, you know, with this guy with the sword, you know. And I go, what's, what's going to happen? You know, you think that little toothpick is going to get him? I go, hell yeah, put it in his eye or something. <laughs> okay, well... I'm going to start off with this one. 
<laughs> and you're gonna say, what? What's that? No, I want it. <laughs> uh, I had got this one uh, at a store, the blank cover, you know, the blank cover, Batman Beyond. Number one, rebirth. Uh, but I had taken it to my friend, who's the artist of this one. Carlos de Anda, you know, he was there at the convention. Uh, he did the variant for that one, and I think he's doing a variant for Cyborg too. Uh, Rebirth, and then he does a he does a number of variants for the Scooby Doo Apocalypse. But anyway, well, he was there, you know, and I hadn't seen him in a while, you know, and. We were like, you know, talking and laughing and stuff, and uh, he's helping me out, do some interviews, and, and then I told him, hey, you know, I have a sketch cover, you, you think you can do something? <laughs> and he says, yes, amigo, of course, yo te lo hago, I'll do it for you, he says. I said, cool, man. So he says, well, come back later today and I'll give it to you. I said, cool. You know, I had to go and I did my business, you know, and I came back later that day and he goes, I have it done for you, man. And this is what he came up with. And I said, damn, I go, this is so good, man. This is so good that I thought that he, he got like a, a sticker and he put it on top of it, you know, or that it was like that, you know, but look at all the, the grays and the blacks, the reds. I mean, this guy is just a master at his craft, man. Hey! Whoop! Anyway, look at that. I'm proud of that one, man. I love that one. Signed it and everything. And then this one I uh, got from Mr. Rod Thornton from Houston, Texas. AngelComicsOnline.com Oh, uh, you know, the guy, the, the man is, uh, again, another master... He gave me this comic, you know, and he signed it for me, IDW, and, you know, came, I guess they came looking for him, and I said, hey, can you do a cover for us, for the con, and he said, yes, and he came up with this awesome cover, wow, it's incredible, but anyway, uh, awesome work, anyway, but let's go to, let's go to the hall now, Supernatural Thrillers, featuring the Valley of the Worm. Adapted from the Chiller by Robert E. Howard. Whoa! Robert E. Howard. Nice. Robert E. Howard is a guy who created Conan the Barbarian. Did I say Barbarian? <laughs> Early. Sorry. Conan the Barbarian. You know. Uh, I love these supernatural thrillers. Um, a couple of them were one-shot stories like uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and... Uh, it, <laughs> which I have, you know, I, I don't know where they're at. Um, what other ones? The, 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 the Headless Horseman. And then most of them are also the, the Mummy. The first appearance of, I think it's Kanan or something. I don't remember. Uh, I guess that's his name. Which I don't have. That's sucker's expense. Anyway, but this guy that had, this vendor, he, I'm not sure where he's from. I guess they're from, from Dallas. Yeah. And uh, he goes, all right, everything, all of this stuff, 50% off. I said, what? Yeah. <laughs> so this was at 12 bucks. He gave it to me for six. Oh, look at that. I love that cover. Never, I mean, I always wanted it. I never found, I never, could never find it. And I wasn't even looking for it. It just, boom, it was there. Cool. I love it. One of the greatest monster epics of all time. Yeah. Again, big monster, little hero. Love it. Okay. Same vendor. Marvel Team Up starring Spider Man and Miss Marvel. Wind Strikes the Silver Dagger. Cool. Again, you know. Six dollars? Three bucks? Hell yeah. And Miss Marvel? Even more so. Oh, that Miss Marvel number one. I think that's, no, no, no. I don't know. I'm trying, trying to find it as cheap as I can get it. Miss Marvel. The one with Peter on the cover and Mary Jane and J. Jonah Jameson. With, you know, the little heads. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I saw this one, so I had to get it. Uh, this was from another vendor. Oh, I love that cover, man. The annual, a uh, number, no, is it, was it the annual? I'm not sure. 
was number five, King Size Special. Marvel Comics Group, 25 cents. Five. <laughs> number five. At long last, the parents of Peter Parker. Great cover from Mr. John Romita Sr. Had to get it. Half price. Oh! You know, my friends, I know this is the second print, but at $5, I have to get it. And, and you know, here in Texas, here in my hometown, this one I could never find. The original, no, the reprint, second print. Never, never find it. Never. And this guy had like two of them, just there, just hanging around, just begging to say, no, no, just hanging around, just there, lounging around. Maybe Spider-Man number 101, second print, lounging around, having a sandwich, some drinks. Just say, hey, man, you want me? Take me. But if not, I don't care. <laughs> Fool! It will take more than a freak with six arms to stop a vampire. A monster called Morbius. I love this cover, man. Love it. I've always wanted this one. Found it. Awesome. Made Spider-Man number 244. Oh, man. Come on, man. At $2, I had to take it, man. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh. I had this one before when I was a kid. But I remember also, like, <laughs> such a... How can I put this? I don't, I don't want to say dirty or anything. But I was very concerned about the cover because I saw had somebody had written on it but like had a paper was writing on a paper but the comic was under it and you can see like numbers like indentations of the numbers and i go ah, i don't want it anymore it's not meant <laughs> ah youth <laughs> but anyway two dollars come on man this one too i love this cover you know what it's just a silhouette the shadow of spite i'm sorry not silhouette spidey shadow coming down on these thugs you know, yellow cover, black also. Oh, dude, come on. Oh, and then, of course, I have the original of this one, but I never had the second print. He had it too. Damn. Awesome. First appearance of the, what is it, the Silver Fox, right? Or the Gray Fox. I think it's Silver Fox. The Silver Sable's dad. Awesome. Yes, and of course, that one. Oh, I had to get it. Yeah, had to, had to. And of course, it was waiting for me there. <laughs> with the other, with the other cover I had gotten at a half price books, like a week ago. I go, I wonder where the other was at. Boom, there it was. Anyway, I'll put those up together later. Uh, then uh, my friend, I don't remember if you guys remember, my friend, the one with the little comic shop, has he opened up with his partner, the old guy, you know, um, they were there at the con, you know, he didn't tell me, and his friend, his partner, took his books, and he had them all half off, you know, this book right here, I love this book, you know why, because it's, it's great, steal it. <laughs> and of course, Spidey vs. Hobgoblin, a special normal size 250th issue. Behold the face of death. Behold the Hobgoblin. Yes. <laughs> but you know what? This issue in particular, I have, I have it. You know, when I was a kid, uh, my brothers, they, when they would, when I would piss them off, <laughs> which would be like 99% of the time. <laughs> They go into my box and they get this one in particular. This one. They take it outside, they throw it. <laughs> they climb up a tree and they throw it down like a frisbee. And I'd be so mad at them. Ah! I wanted to tear their faces off. <laughs> but I still have it, you know. But I saw it there. Cause this one you could you, you, like, I never find it, I never see it. You know? And I go <laughs> Sorry. Damn you camera. I love you. <laughs> anyway, but this one, half off. I mean, he gave it to me for four. Oh, fantastic. I love it. 
And then, of course, you know, I've talked about this one before. You know, my grandfather had gotten me a copy of that one. And I was conned out of it. Yeah, another one he gave it to me before. Oh, man, I had to take it. I had to take it, man. I couldn't leave it there. You know, 249, I mean, Spider-Man. Only one man could save Spider-Man from the Hobgoblin. If that's your idea of being saved. Love it. 249, 250. Hey, I'm going backwards. <laughs> mm, 261, I think this is done by Mr. Charles Vess. What a cover. Whoop. Yes, Charles Vess, there it is. Boom. 261, Macy Spider-Man. Oh, man, this is fantastic. I love it. 261. This is another one. Another Hobgoblin. Yeah. Number 260. I'm going backwards again. <laughs> awesome. This is so... I love this cover. I have these. <laughs> I just couldn't leave them behind, man. Oh. So good. I love it. Man. Me Spider-Man 260. And then he had this one, too. Ho, ho, ho. Take some comics, Batman, number 545. And then, what is it, service? Is somebody there? <laughs> Batman, if you're dead. Wow, what a great cover. I had to get it. I've ever seen it on somebody's video. Somebody's video. And uh, I go, man, that's really cool and creepy. You know? Oh. Colin and Giordano. Uh, in many interviews, uh, Neil Adams always mentions those guys, especially Giordano. Oh, you look at this one, yes. Number 566, no, sorry, 556, Batman Detective Comics. I think that's Nocturna. Yes, awesome. That is so cool. I love it. Making out, hell yeah. If I had a girl like that, all white and stuff, and blue and stuff, I'd be making out with her too. <laughs> you go, Bats! And I found this one. You know, I think that's a reprinting uh, of Neil Adams, you know, uh, Frank Robinson, Neil Adams. Uh, number one, Mad Bat versus Batman. And I think it reprints, it says three chilling conflicts, I guess it's three, three, three stories of him and Mad Bat. But I know that that was a cover from, I don't know, from either the Batman or Detective. And I saw it there. I go, for three bucks. Yes. Yes. Of course. Of course I will. Every day, my friends. Every day. Yes. I mean, it's better 269. And there shall come a Fire Lord. You know, 269 to 70. <clears throat> 270 I found at the at the old man's store, you know, you know. Uh, and I found it now with his with his friend, his partner, you know, three dollars. Of course, I was gonna get it, but for 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 you guys who have not read this story, the two part of 269 270, read it. It is awesome, you know. You know, Fire Lord comes down to Earth and pissing everybody off and shit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and Peter, Peter takes it this issue, right? But the second issue, he gets fed up with him. He knocks the crap out of him, out of Fire Lord. Awesome. Awesome. Great story. Great story. Okay. <laughs> uh, I got this, I, you know, been a new friend, Mr. Ale Garza creator of Ninja Boy. You know, I uh, interviewed him, you know, uh, one of the videos of uh, our Comic Con adventure. Haven't read it yet, but I remember it coming out in the 90s. And uh, you could tell that his art style changed, really. Like, wow. I mean, it was great before, but now it's like awesome, man. Uh, OvergroundComics.com. If you guys want to catch up on the story or want to trade paperback, you know, this ad brought to you by L Comic Box. <laughs> anyway, 
uh, so it looks really cool. Anyway, so on the last day of the con, or the, actually the second day that I was there, um, I was, I had the, the, the privilege <laughs> of parking in the video parking, you know? <laughs> so, so uh, I would go do some shopping or whatever, and I'd go back to my truck. And then just rest for a little bit and go back, you know. <laughs> so, so the last day when I was there for me, <clears throat> I said, you know what? Let's walk around again, see what we missed or whatever. But there was this area that I didn't go to. I didn't go to the video game area, you know. A lot of kids and stuff running around. <laughs> uh, right away, my nephews. <laughs> but anyway, so I go, you know what? Let's go see what we can find or whatever and if not then that's it you know i had got some pretty decent books already you know so i'm going all the way to the corner i see all the kids with the video games and stuff you know and as i'm turning the corner i i see a guy there with toys and and rows of long boxes i said oh what do we have here And then I'm looking at the boxes. And all the boxes say five bucks, five bucks, five bucks, five bucks. And then I and I uh, came up to the, I guess, to the vendor, the guy, and he said, "Hey, five dollars." He goes, "Yeah, all these boxes, five dollars each. It doesn't matter what the price says. Five dollars." I said, "Really? Well, okay." <laughs> I cracked my knuckles, my friends, and I started. Going to work. <laughs> I'm going to go backwards because, uh, I mean, oh, if I would have known, I would have gone to the first day, you know? So I found this one, Thor, the Mighty Thor, number 226. And it says it was $20, gift me for five. <laughs> you know? I need your help, Thunder God. Without it, I fall and the earth with me. <laughs> And yon shadow belongs to him who hath defeated thee. But can even Thor prevail against one who hath conquered Galactus? <laughs> who stands with Galactus? <laughs> Galactus looking a little depressed, my friends. A little depressed. But, man, what a cover. I love it. Mighty Thor, number 226. I got another Thor. I got, I got some Thors, man. Uh, the Mighty Thor, number 215. Despair not, my lady Sith. I shall free thee from these binding crystals, which, nay, God of Thunder, you'll not free her. Thus speaks Zor, spawner of worlds. <laughs> awesome. Five dollars. This whole, almost this whole stack is five dollars. <sighs> the Mighty Thor number 202, Marvel Comics Group, Eagle Prime versus The Earth, Eagle Prime. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'm mistaken or not, but it's Eagle Prime, supposedly, in the new Gal- Guardians of the Galaxy movie, and that was Star Lord's dad? Okay. <laughs> I gotta give me some, uh... Bigger cards. But anyway, uh, I was talking about Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm probably wrong. I, it, but he's a planet or something, right? I don't know. But anyway, this is a great cover. I love it. Another Thor. Number 198. Odin is dead, Thunder God. And you shall be next to die. When dies the immortal. Nice. Number 199, the Mighty Thor. Fight on, ye warriors of Asgard. Fight on for the soul of Odin. Death to the legions of Pluto. Great cover. I love this, man. Oh, it says so much. Battle. Different people and demons and... The ocean... (laughs) <laughs> so good. I love it. Okay. That was the Thor stuff. But then. But then, my friends. But then. 
Like I told you all before, I'm an amazing Spider-Man junkie. And, you know, I have the Marvel Tales ones, and I have I have one of these, you know. But I saw it here for $5. I had to get it. I had to. I had to! Oh. Original. Spider-Man number 75. Death without warning. Awesome. Amazing Spider-Man number 112. Marvel Comics Group. Go on, world. Hurt each other. Kill each other. Do anything you want. I just don't care anymore. <laughs> That's me after work. <laughs> Spidey comes out. Yeah. Awesome. Amazing Spider-Man number 117. Thanks to me, the candidate is a dead man, and Spider-Man is next. The deadly designs of the Disruptor. Cool. Oh, my favorite cover. One of my favorite covers. <laughs> oh, when I had the Marvel Bilingual Theater a few episodes ago. <laughs> oh, my goodness. No! This wedding will not take place! Oh, but it will, Wallcrawler, or your dead body. The priest with this ring I the web? <laughs> Aunt Maid Mary Dr. Octopus? That's just the start of the greatest action ish ever! Number 131. Fantastic. I love that cover. And this is what I got because it just freaks me out, man. I have the Marvel Tales one. So awesome. I, it's just. Oh, man, this is a great, great cover. Great cover. Smash Spider-Man. Destroy him. Kill him. Yes, yes. They're helpless pawns. I can't bring myself to fight back. I can't. Yes. Madness means the mind worm. Nice. Of course. It's a generator senior. Oh, man. That's one of my favorite covers, too, man. Oh. You know? <laughs> I have a, a wooden poster of this one, too. Oh. Marvel Comics Group is Amazing Spider-Man number 151. Funny this sewer won't help you, mister. Only one of us is leaving here alive. Can you guess the shocking secret in any of Spidey's super foe? Yeah. Number 153, Amazing Spider-Man. Oh, I love this cover, too. I just love all these covers, man. Damn. A football field becomes a raging battleground as Spidey fights to save an innocent child. The deadliest hundred yards. Kill him! The web singer must not escape alive. Five dollars, my friends. I can do this all day. Okay. I think I have. <laughs> Spider-Man, number 155. Who is the most incredible killer of all? Follow Spider-Man through a web of deception and death as he struggles to discover who done it. Nice. I love it, man. And he had a bit... Man, all of these were just excellent condition, man. Oh. I think this is the first appearance of Nightcrawler, I think, on Amazing Spider-Man. It's a battle you've demanded as everyone's favorite web slinger struggles for his very life against Nightcrawler. And if that isn't enough, trouble, the Punisher is gunning for Spidey too. <laughs> Number 161, Amazing Spider-Man. Yes. Number 172, Amazing Spider-Man. Bombs from his fingertips busting all around me. Face it, webhead. You ain't got a chance against the Rocket Racer. <laughs> I love the Rocket Racer. But even if Spidey can defeat this skateboarding psychopath, he still must face the Fiend from the fire. Nice. Oh, man. Dude. Another one. I mean, Spider-Man number 181. The pain and the power. So good. So good. 
And then this one, this one, I've always wanted this one. Oh, I mean, Spider-Man number 189. You're helpless, Jameson. Jameson again in trouble. Outside of a building. <laughs> helpless. Spidey has to come and save his ass again. You're helpless, Jameson. Nothing can save you now. Wanna bet, Bunky? Who oh, is the mystery menace? Man, I saw this book, you know, and this book is pristine, man. Pristine. I see this book in horrible condition. And some of the comic shops here were like 30 bucks. And it was still cheap. He had it for 15, but he gave it to me for five. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, this is like my third copy, but I, this one is pristine. The last one that I bought was like, oh. Man, this is so nice. Amazing Spider-Man number 190. The soul-searing climax to Spidey's most deadly battle. Number four is such a surprise, shock ending. Mayhem is a man-wolf. Oh, man, I love it. Then this one, I've never seen this one before. Amazing Spider-Man number 12, King Size Annual. The classic confrontation between Marvel's two TV sensations retold. Spidey vs. Hulk. I guess this is from 119 and 120? Amazing Spider-Man? But it's a reprint, I guess? Not much. I love it. And then I found these, too. Avengers number 81. $5. Damn. Yeah. Don't worry about whether the Scarlet Witch is dead or not, Vision. Because in just about one second, you're going to join her. Whoa. Is the end of a superhero when a legend dies? Cool. Great cover. This one, too. I got this one because of this guy. Because of this guy right here. Look at this guy. Oh! You crushed them. <laughs> you costume cretins won't stop brainchild from blowing up the world. No one will. <laughs> He's gone mad. He's out to destroy himself and take the whole planet with him. Fantastic. Fantastic. You know, that was from that vendor, man. All those books was from were from that vendor. Oh! I wish I would have taken more money. But as of yet, but as of right now, I'm eating out of cans for the rest of the two weeks before I get paid. <laughs> out of cans, my friend! Not trash cans, but aluminum cans. <laughs> was from the store. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I went back to the guy who had the Morbius. Uh, he had this one. I didn't see it. Half price. Uh, I have, I have, I think I have. No, I don't have. Yeah, I do. I don't know. I think I have a poster of this one, too. I love this one. The Amazing Spider-Man number 186. The story you never expected to see. Spidey cleared by the police. Webhead, a national hero. All this and the chameleon too. Marvel's TV sensation, The Amazing Spider-Man number 186. And of course, I had to get another one of these. <laughs> you have no idea, my friends. You have no idea. Slim Pickens, here in Tejas. Slim Pickens. But, I had to get it. Spidey with the six arms. First appearance of Morbius. I know it's the second print. Uh, I should be getting 102 in the mail. Just a little bit of information for all you guys. And of course, I'm going to date this. But right now, our friends at Mile High Comics online. The owner made uh, was giving a deal. If you order over 50 bucks, it's free shipping, right? But this week, with that, if you request it, he'll give you Amazing Spider-Man number 102 in good condition for free. Yes, for free. I jumped at the chance, my friends. I jumped at the chance. Mm, mm, mm. Now I'm really going to be eating out of cans now. Trash cans. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my friends, uh, thank you so much for joining me on this journey. 
Uh, you know what? I've been uh, kind of neglectful. <laughs> uh, I, I want to do some shout outs, you know? I want to shout out to Alex the Comic Quarter, my friend. Uh, love your videos. Uh, you know, always shouting out people and giving them love and stuff, you know? So I'm doing it for you, my friend. Uh, uh, shout out for Alex the Comic Quarter. Uh, my friend Semper Fi, the comic guy. Ah, uh, you know. You, my friend, are a treasure to this community. Love your stuff. Love your books. Your contests. Uh, sorry I didn't get to do your other con your, your contest, the, the zombie one. The whole thing planned, too. Man, but work just got in the way. I was going to tell you that I was going to be in the zombie apocalypse. That's going to train. <laughs> Trade hard and find a new life in the zombie apocalypse. Anyway, <laughs> super fire the cover guy. Um, you know what? Uh, but thank you guys. Thank you guys for being part of this community. Thank you guys for supporting me and for commenting on my videos too. You know, thank you all for watching. Thank you, my subscribers and my potential subscribers. Thank you. I love to share. <laughs> I love to share. <laughs> but please, sorry. <laughs> please join again next time. No, I forgot that I have three, uh, three trades that I got. Some guy had them. Hold on. Some guy had them. Three, five dollars each or three for ten. So I got this one. You know, one. This one, that's like the epic collection, you know? Return of the Sinister Six. Okay. And then I got this one, too. Another trade. Transformers Classic Volume 1. Man, those three for $10. You believe it? And I got this one because it has the original Marvel stuff, you know? But it also reprints the Spider-Man issue that I love so much, you know? Let me see here. It's got to be around here. Yes! And you know, in, another, in other in other printings, that, this story isn't in there. It's not. <clears throat> but the most expensive one that I got that time was this one. <clears throat> another vendor, you know. Dude, didn't want to give me half off or nothing. <laughs> but, but basically he did. I mean, these books are like super expensive. This was the most expensive one I bought. $20. Reprinting Giant Size X-Men number one and X-Men 91 through 100. All those books that are worth all sorts of cash. Whew. Anyway. Well, my friends, thank you so much for joining me again. And, uh... Please join me in continuing on this voyage of self-discovery. <laughs> this voyage of, uh, my odyssey, my quest... You know, I haven't even touched my short boxes yet. I keep buying more and more. <laughs> I keep finding deals and deals. But that's okay. As long as it takes, my friends. As long as it takes. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great and awesome one. You know? And uh, keep hunting. Stay hungry. But above all, be a hero. To everyone. Peace.